Hey, great morning. And this is going to be spiritual awakening. I started this last year. No, I honestly don't remember. I started it a long time ago. Um, and I went through this journey of really just not believing in myself enough. And then I kind of fell down the rabbit hole. So it took me a long time to really come back to this. But one of the things that I tell people is the way that you start your morning is the way that um, is going to be better for the rest of the day, right? So I put out that I was going to start these back up today at 5 a.m. It's a little bit after 5 a.m. <laughs> but I started it. I, I wanted to do my, um, I needed to do my morning mindset work in my planner first. So I did that, my high performance planner. So it allows me to kind of, you know, look at the day. One of the things that I can get excited about, it, it kind of just puts me in a, a positive state of mind. Um, today's message to myself was the devil says you are not worthy and you're not enough. His lies defeat us. If we don't have God on our sides, I choose life. I didn't always have God. Well, mm, shouldn't say it like that. I always had God. I was not always operating with God. <laughs> and I've seen what happens with that. And so I don't choose to go back there, which is why I'm on this journey where it's not beautiful. It's difficult. It's um, different. People look at you differently. You are different and you're made to be different and that's okay. Um, but that was really hard for me to accept because I just wanted to fit in. That we're not meant to fit in. Um, but anyway, I'm starting this back up. It's going to be in the mornings, uh, 5 a.m., God willing, Lord willing, let me do this. <laughs> and I'm starting my group back up in, the, in my online community. So I will be sharing the link for that. So that way we can continue the conversation. Um, we can continue to support each other, grow this out. Um, I appreciate you for being on. And really, I just wanted to do something quickly just to, you know, offer prayer. Um, if anybody ever wants to join me on these videos, I'll be sharing the Zoom link for the, the future calls. <clears throat> what I really would love to be able to do is, you know, do these in the mornings, but then, you know, maybe once a week we come together and, you know, have like a bigger call where we can actually come together and meet each other. <clears throat> And we'll see where that goes. I don't, I don't try to figure things out anymore. That's what got me in the first place. Um, my plans, his plans, they don't usually line up very well, but his plans are better. And I'm learning that more and more, his plans are better. So if you'll join in with me and just say, you know, Lord, please come into our lives. Please remind us that it's more of you, less of us. Remove our pride, our, remove our stubbornness, remove our egos, remove anything that is blocking us from getting closer to you. Lord, there are some people that are really hurting today. I just ask that you will come into their lives and that you will show them, show them that you are there. Lord, for my friend who texted me yesterday saying that she wanted to die, Lord, I just ask that you will remove that thought from her and remind her of her children and remind her of all the reasons that she has to live. The devil is, he's really working hard, Lord. He is really working hard again and pulling your children backwards. And he's tried with me. He's tried with many others that I know. Lord, I just ask that you will just come in and that you will just take control of the situations and just show yourself to the people who need you right now. Continue to show yourself in my life. Continue to show yourself in the people's lives that are here right now on this call. Lord, I just ask that you will continue 
to allow us to believe more in you so that we can believe more in ourselves. Lord, we just want to thank you for waking up another day. If you've been up all night on this call, Lord, we just want to thank you for bringing us through the night and for allowing us to show up on this call and for allowing us to be together. Lord, you say when two or three gather, you are there and we feel you right now. We feel that for you. So Lord, we just ask that you will continue to just bless those who need you today. Bless us all. We all need you. We all need you, Lord. But we just ask that you will continue to show your wisdom, continue to grow us, Lord, continue to put us in front of the people who need you so that we can be the light for them and we can show them that it's not as hard as we think to get to you. We just have to be willing to do it. We have to be willing to accept our flaws and we have to be willing to show that we're flawed and we have to be willing to no longer shame ourselves for the mistakes that we've made in the past, Lord. I would just ask that you will just continue to, to bless those. Bless us all. <laughs> I need to keep saying that. Bless us all. We all need, we all need you. We all need you. And Lord, I just thank you for allowing us to be able to come together in this first thing in the morning, this 5 a.m. call. For those who are out there, let them know that they have a safe space to come. Let them know that they can continue this conversation inside of a safe community. They can post anonymously. They can be supported throughout their journey without worrying about judgment and being free from, from anything that's not of you. But we just ask that you continue to come in each and every morning and remind us who you created us to be. In Jesus' name, amen. I used to say that I couldn't pray out loud. <laughs> and it was hard for me. It was really hard for me. Um, I never really knew how to pray. I never knew what to say. I never knew how to do any of that. And I, I just started writing. And so I've actually, I have a journal um, in my hand. For some of you who know my hand, I'm not able to handwrite anymore much with pain, without pain. Um, so everything gets typed now, and, and that ended up being a blessing. I've been typing papers and research papers for years, and so I became a bit of a, a good typer, <laughs> a good, um, I was quick, right? And, and so it became more of a blessing that I wasn't able to handwrite because the things that I would handwrite were the private things that I didn't want to share, that I didn't feel comfortable with sharing. But those are the things that really I learned that people need to hear. And so now I'm easily able to share them on blogs and books and this platform and, and just being able to do a whole lot more. Um, so real quick, I, I know we probably all need to get off here, but for anybody who is watching, I just want to show you this platform and I will have the link for that. All right, we have a ton of communities, a ton of people working together just to do more. Um, I'm able to literally, I, I learned my purpose in life <laughs> being here and I, I was struggling with that for a long time. So this has been a godsend in my life. Um, but for anyone who hasn't seen it, I know it's different. And so people are like, ah, oh, it's different. It's not Facebook. <laughs> no, it's not Facebook, it's way better. Um, so actually, I'm going to turn this around. So this is this is my community, but there's a ton of other communities where business owners and content creators that support and encourage each other. So I have a lot of stuff in here. I have some things in draft that I'm working on. I love to support entrepreneurs. So a lot of that is entrepreneur stuff. I got my back office in here, but here is where we are. And I moved it back over here. And this is where we're going to be able to continue the conversation. So we're going to have experiences. Anyone can post here in the discussion board. You, anyone, anyone can post there. The beauty of this is, I'm going to show you real quick. If I go in here and I say I want to post something, look at this, you guys. Post anonymously. Post anonymously. 
No one has to know who you are. But the great thing is that we can continue the conversation at that point and we can continue to support one another. And if someone is struggling, they know they're not alone. You guys literally, um, this is weighing heavy on my heart right now because there's a woman that I know and I just met her last Christmas at a Christmas party for a nonprofit here in Jacksonville, Florida that I work with to help veterans. And um, because I was a veteran who went through it and it helped me tremendously. And so, um, so I'm helping them now, but I met her there and, you know, we don't ever know why we're meeting people or what's going to come about or whatever. Um, but she had her kids there and we exchanged phone numbers. We had a good conversation. We exchanged phone numbers. That's what I do. <laughs> you know, why not? <laughs> um, that's how you build a community. That's how you build your people. That's how you build your tribe. You know, pride doesn't get us anywhere. Believe me, I know that. Um, but yeah, so when we linked up and just kept in contact, we just kept in connection. I don't know where, which part of Jacksonville she lives in. I don't know. I don't even know her last name. <laughs> um, I literally just put her first name in my phone and then I put ONU because that was the Christmas party. So I always put where I met somebody. That way I always remember. Sometimes I'll take a picture. So, you know, for people that meet me, Sometimes I'll turn and I'll be like, no, let's take a picture. And so that way the picture's in there. <laughs> um, but anyway, I met her and we talked. But anyway, uh, I've been kind of, you know, I'll invite her to church and I'll invite her, I shouldn't say church. Uh, I'll invite her to worship <laughs> with us um, to a place where I know that she'll feel supported. It's where I went and I was led to feel supported um, at a time where I really needed it. <laughs> I needed real people who could support me because I was going through a whole lot of just learning how to heal. And that's not easy for anyone who's done it or is trying to do it or whatever. Healing is not an easy process. You need people around you who understand. Um, and so going through EMDR therapy was very difficult for me, but I'm grateful for the people who understood. Um, anyway, so. I encouraged her as much as I possibly could. I tried to link her up with other women who could help her um, because I know I can't help everyone. <laughs> Finally, I've come to terms with that. It, it's really um, because I'm an empath. And so it can take a lot out of me when I try to help people too much and I'm passionate. And so I have to be careful. Um, so I just kept trying to encourage her and encourage her. But anyway, yesterday she texts out of the blue, out of the blue and just said, I want to die. Um, and I just got chills and I didn't see the text right away. Um, she actually texted myself and a good friend of mine that I had put her in contact with at the same time. So my other friend was, was uh, texting her back, but then she just stopped. She, she didn't reply anymore. Um, she didn't reply at all actually. And so when I saw everything, it was probably about 11 back and forth texts. Um, not even really back and forth, more like 11 texts total. Um, I immediately just, you know, I, I called her um, because when somebody texts someone like that, like they're, they're in that place and I've been in that place. And while I didn't reach out to per, a person, um, that's when I fell to my knees and prayed to God for the first, not the first time, but that's when it was real. <laughs> That's when it was real. That's when I said, Lord, I cannot do this alone. I cannot do this without you. That was that day. And so um, I'm getting chills when I talk about it, but I felt it when I said, when I saw what she texted, I felt it. And I tried to call her and it went to voicemail. My friend tried to call her, it went to voicemail. So we don't know how she's doing right now. And Again, I don't know what side of Jacksonville she lives on. I don't know where she lives. Again, I don't know her last name. <laughs> um, I'm going to continue to try to reach out to her. But there are really some people out there who are just, they're hurting and they think they're alone. And so people think that I'm trying to build this community for me, but I'm not. It's not about me. It's about the people that we can come together and help. Um, every single community that's inside of this platform, the health and fitness community, the wellness community, the military community, the, the actual convened community, 
um, every single community, there's a ton of them, you guys, there's a parenting community, a, a, a place where kids can go. My daughter's on the teen community and she can post anonymously. It's safe for her. No backlash. <laughs> um, the whole premise behind it is it's not about us. It's not about the people who are creating the content. It's about the people that we can help by creating the content. And the more we come together, we can help a whole lot more people. So that's the purpose. That's the premise behind it. Um, I know not everybody sees the vision and that's okay. That's okay. It took me a long time too. But it is limitless. And there are people out there who need us. They need us. For those of us who have gone through a whole lot and we're coming out on the other side of it or we're finally learning how to open up, um, and please know it took me a long time, a long time. Literally, you know, I started my spiritual journey in 2019 and two years later, I hit rock bottom again. <laughs> and out of that though, I woke up, I woke up. That was the true awakening. And maybe that's why I had to stop this for a little bit because I wasn't completely awake. Like I thought I was. Um, anyway, this was supposed to be quick, but I am gonna do this every morning. It is gonna be quicker. Every morning I wanted to make sure that I kind of introduced this. I kind of, I wanted to introduce the, the group and show. Um, okay, so I just got stopped on Instagram. Um, <laughs> I guess you can't have music playing in the background on Instagram. So I just got completely stopped. I can't save it, um, but it's okay. The person who was on there was meant to be on there. And uh, I am going to do these every morning. I'm going to commit to this. Uh, it might not be right exactly at 5 a.m. It just depends on how the morning goes. Um, but I am going to do my best to be on here at 5 a.m. in the morning. So if you are out there and you would like to start your day you know, praying to God and thinking about those who, who need him and praying for other people. And, you know, if you have any prayer requests, please present them um, because together we can do more. And, you know, when he says that we gather, he's there. And so let's just continue to gather and he will continue to be there. So thank you to anyone who showed up and thank you to everyone who is going to show up. Um, Prayer is something that is a necessity in our lives um, because without it, and I can say this from personal experience, without it, we're forced to rely on our own strength. And Lord knows we don't have the capacity to rely on our own strength through some of these situations that we endure. So let's rely on him and let's rely on each other and let's continue to build this out. So thanks for tuning in. Um, and let's do this again tomorrow. All right. God bless.